on target number one, representing Uzbekistan. Ziyadakon Abdusattarova, Nilüfer Amroeva, and Kamola Yunusova. On target number two, representing France, Melanie Gobil, Melody Richard, and Victoria Sebastian. And the line judge for this match will be Soner Yücel. So there we have it, uh, the two teams announced out to the crowd here. Uzbekistan versus France. Uh, the respectively fourth and third ranked teams after the uh, ranking round where each archer shot 72 arrows. Uzbekistan line up with Abdus Satarova, Hamroeva and Yun Yusuva. That's Melanie Gobel who leads the line for France with Richard and Sebastian. So set system in recurve archery. First to five set points, you get two set points if you win a set, one if the teams are tied. Two arrows per archer per set. And it's over to Melanie Gobel to get us underway. France begin with nine. Sebastian going in the middle for France. A little bit of a longer setup for Melody Richard. Six. for Uzbekistan is Kamola Yunusova. Six. Ziyadakon Abdu Satarova in second place. Nine. Use that first arrow from Yunusova as a bit of a sighter. Seven. And now you far Hamroeva going in third. So through the first rotations and uh, we switch back to France for the second and final set of arrows in this first set. Melody Richard, 51 set, so uh, a good first set for France, and Uzbekistan can only afford to drop one point there to tie the set, and uh, there you go, it's all gone already, and these are now rehearsal arrows for the second set, because for sure France are going to be two set points up. Ten. 
first one of the match. And the last row of this end is a seven for Uzbekistan. So as you can see, France winning the first set, getting the first two set points to start off this bronze medal match. As I say, the field is a, a little small here for this warm-up. France uh, had a bye through the quarterfinals before losing out to uh, the host nation Takia in the semi-finals. Uzbekistan got a warm-up in the quarterfinals against Saudi Arabia, winning that one 6-0 before losing to Spain 6-0 in their semi-finals. France here leading the way in the bronze medal match. A good start, 50, 51 out of a possible 60. Archers are facing a, a little bit of a headwind. It's uh, coming across the range, just slightly uh, left to right. With the official results, France is leading the match with two set points. So confirmation that France lead the recurve women's team bronze medal match here at the Spring Hours in Antalya by two set points to nil over Uzbekistan and the Uzbeks will start set number two. Now, the astute amongst you would have noticed that the Uzbeks have changed their order. Hamarova went Seven. first, that's Yun Yusuva, who was going first before. change for the French. You can see the flags have uh, just started to get a little more still and as I said the, the wind was blowing a little bit left to right so the archers were oh. adjusting for it and then uh, that's why we're seeing those two arrows going to the right and then uh, the correction well the overcorrection, pushing that final arrow out to the left for a 20. Big chance here for Uzbekistan. Six. So after Satarova switching to that first place, Yunusova now shooting second for Uzbekistan. One. That is a stray one. 
And as you can see, the flags have picked up again. So the wind playing its part here in this bronze medal match. Six. Well, you can see the spread of those arrows. Archers want a, a tight grouping. Uzbekistan leaving the door open for a 4 0 lead for France here. Seven. Sebastian giving Richard a little bit of breathing space here. Just a single point, just has to hit the target to draw level on set points. Anything more? France will be 4 0 up. Well, he's only just a little bit more. A 39 scored uh, by the French team in a very low scoring second and set. Now we're that for the second, uh, but it means that uh, France provisionally a 4 0 up, subject to the target judge confirming those scores. But the wind by no means is strong here, but it's inconsistent, and that's the thing that archers really dislike. It plays havoc with their aim. And handling the conditions just slightly better. The French team look like they're going to go 4-0 up. Four and a half Get a view there of the uh, very wide grouping from Uzbekistan. That uh, an ultimate arrow in the second step going into the one, which is not what we expect. But after all, this is a, a warm up competition. They've got uh, another 17 days before the first World Cup takes place here to hone their skills. And as I say, a lot of the teams uh, stay here for the pre World Cup training camps three points of advantage on this end france is leading the match with four set points against uzbekistan target number one will shoot first so officially the scores for both teams are marked up by a single point 38 plays 40 in that second set but uh, it does mean that france have got a four nil lead and all they have to do now is match the score set by Uzbekistan, who will shoot first in set number three. Hammer over, giving the Uzbek some hope with a 10, but 20 out of a possible 30. It's very gettable by the French team. Fobel on the line. 
not called in venue. Let's clip the eight line. She will get eight points. So an important arrow here for uh, Melody Richard. Takes a little bit longer than her teammates in her setup. Second one for Yunyusova in the match. So 46 set, potentially could be a 45, but a very gettable target for the French here. Close to the line, that one. Hey. That will be enough. Provisionally, they're on uh, 51 points. That could go up. In fact, both team scores can change, but there's a, a big enough gap between the two that uh, France will be pretty confident of a 6-0 victory here in this warm-up competition. 